hello student oh in our last lecture we discussed about the american literature afro american literature in the true sense of the term when we are going to deal with the next term that is jewish american literature as we have discussed in our last lecture that america is a multicultural society multiracial society various races those who migrated to america will found their lives reflection of lives the socio cultural background political background to the american society and that has made the uh, jewish american literature as one of the important topic for discussion as we have seen in the world history the world has seen the uh, upheaval in the form of say the second world war the world war ravaged the lives of the people european people across the nations like russia germany at the same time france and poland especially where the mass movement that took place in the 18th century 19th century and 20th century at the very beginning of the 20th century rather and all these has led to the migration of this yiddish people means jewish by origin as we know we have seen the disastrous consequences of the atrocities by adolf hitler the dictator the world has seen and all that had reflected in the writings for a particular mistake that uh, the jewish people supposed to it is it has some linkages with the crucifixion of the jesus christ and most of the people believed that those miscreants were jewish people and to take the revenge we have so much so called atrocities on the jewish people the miscreants that we have seen are of course but we have to rather think about in a secular way but whatever the jewish lives of the people in america that we see is reflected in their literature and at the very beginning say it started in 1881 to 1935 it is that type of period in which the world has seen that the most of the literary work was produced in edish language edish is a mother tongue of this jewish community and the first writers like morris wishwski morris rosenfeld were the first such a writers and from 1935 onwards the jewish community exhibited in the poetry their lives are reflected in novels theater productions and journalist uh, type of writing especially in the writers like the nobel laureates saul bilo j d salinger norman mailer bernard malamud sham patok and philip roth these were the major writers of the 20th century who exhibited the features of typically jewish type of uh, say lives jewish type of uh, say problems their reflections on life the experiences of life in the third world community that is american society which is definitely not their own by indigenousness and all that we see 
in the form of features jewish literature in america it uh, began very early stage with the writers like memoirs petitions of the immigrants who had come to the american shore as early as 17th century and all that uh, reflected in the very beginning of this irish community what are the features of these jewish writers we have identity dilemma alienation efforts to establish their identity assimilation in to american mainstream and all that we see american society is a different one its food habits even culture even language even lives even ethics even religious life cultural lives all features of livelihood are typically different and sometimes opposing to that of jewish community and that is what what is their significance their language their day to day life they day to day use of language makes them different from the american society and all that has caused to signify their identity they feel alienated they feel forlorn they have lost their roots roots to their native plus roots to their native land to their culture and all that is in the foreign land it's a kind of a nostalgia that reflected in their writing and all that suffering painful suffering has led this jewish community to live the life of a dilemma it's a problem with the psychology of the jewish problem and that we see reflected in the trade the alienation is the theme that is constantly uh, followed observed and shared with by these writers so in a forlorn country in a forlorn say so called uh, nature and culture definitely jewish community tried their efforts to establish their identity their works to propagate their ideas and culture and all that had led to the uh, say so called the pain and suffering depiction of pain and suffering assimilation in the mainstream of the american lives they want to merge with american culture and society they never want to be alienated they wish that american people should accept them and they have to show cause their nation or uh, nation food nationality their uh, so called very deep rooted uh, rooted relations to their foreign land that is america so everything these jewish people were trying to express is that of the assimilation into the native uh, say culture american culture american social system and every box of life even these jewish community sometimes try to disown their jewish identity sometimes they uh, change their names they sometimes disown their fellow say natives relatives disown the fellow jewish brotherhood community to signify their own assimilation in the american system so like this these are very much uh, say features that we see leon uris's novel exodus stands for all the expression of these features as a bashavis singer and soul below uh, where the jewish american writers who won the nobel prize for their uh, works these jewish community i would tell you are very brilliant people they have scored most of the nobel laureates in uh, in the world in every segment of this 
uh, say a watt. So in the Duke a course of time, Saul Bilow, who refused to accept this Nobel Prize. Then we have Abraham Cohen is very well known for the rise of David Levinsky. Anzela Yazereska, Sidney Nyborg, Samuel Ornitz, M. James Oppenheim were the major uh, writers of this particular period. Jewish American writers like uh, Nelson Algren, Isidore Schrodinger, Albert Halper, who considered socialism to be the more effective answer to the problems of Jewish community. And it is not particularly in reference to the American society, but to the you know, all over the world. Tilly Olson, Cynthia Ozick, Herbert Gould, Stanley Alkin, Joseph Heller, E.L. Doctorow, Saul Bilow, Grace Pally, Bernard Malamud, Hug Nissen Sain, Eli Wazel, Flip Froth, all dealt with the problems of the Jewish community. Saul Bilow's <coughs> The Adventures of Oggy March with his famous opening lines, I am an American, Chicago born, itself announces the, that he belongs to the Jewish community. Gimpel, the fool by Isaac Bashevis singer, came up with this very different approach, which is to be remembered, celebrated, and romanticized in the world of Judaism. So, so all these features that we see are very much relevant in the Jewish community type of writing. These are typically features that we see are reflected. Mostly I would, uh, in nutshell, I would summarize these points and features of Jewish community that each and every student must read or uh, give patient attention to these features that they feel nostalgia, they feel alienated. Identity has been the crisis with their, say, living in American society. At the same time, the assimilation in the native culture, American culture, American society, the efforts that we see. And due to this, there are various such causes by which they or try to disown their community, they try to disown their native religions, they started eating meat and everything. So all that we see are reflected in the literature. So these features and other say pain and suffering, their uh, struggle, their efforts to live the life of say the just like common people, to get the nation or citizenship, to get the well recognition, the efforts to develop their career, the struggle that they have encountered in their family lives are all reflected in this type of literature. So with these, definitely, we have to, uh, with a careful attention, perusal uh, reading, means careful reading, that was already, we had to figure them out and we had to develop an essay on this. So, and then and thereafter, we could have a very clear cut idea of the reflections of the Jewish American community in literature that we have to understand. And that is what we have under this term. <laughs>